What's up guys? So I got another video for you today. We are just going to be talking about the update. We're going to be talking about the lore. We're going to be talking about the couple of uh, future updates that are going to be happening. I believe the last time I tried to do a face cam video, if I paused it, it messed up. So hopefully I'm not going to pause it. Uh, hopefully it'll be working and you'll be able to see my face the entire time. Uh, I figured it's been a while since I've done an in real life update video. So I figured I would just kind of attach that to this video, kind of making it a, a multi-purpose video or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think, um, actually, I don't know when, how long it's been, but, uh, on the 7th is usually when I weigh myself, and this 7th, I weighed 278, which was 100 pounds lost, so, I, um, it's going pretty good, I just figured I'd update you on, uh, on that progress. I don't remember what I said I weighed last time, but, um, you know, however, however long ago it was and whatever I weighed, you know, that, I'd do some math, I suppose, but... Uh, before we get into the future stuff, let's talk about the update that just happened a few minutes ago. I'm on this account because I just want to make sure voting works. Voting was added. There's only one vote site at the moment, but uh, the reason there's only one vote site is because vote sites can be added at any point, even when the server was already updated. So we would get, we, we just figured we'd get all of the in-game stuff done first, and then uh, start adding more websites and better ones. So. Uh, there's only one at the moment, only one point you can possibly get, so I, I know some people will be annoyed by that, but uh, don't worry, we're working on that, and that will be happening out very soon. Let me log on to the other account to get to the updates. I was about to pause there, but no pausing. I guess I'll just have to... I'm never going to remember to edit the video, so I just can't make any mistakes. This has to be a perfect video. <laughs> no mistakes. Alright, uh... Boom. Alright, all right, so yeah, very small update. Some bug fixes to the Staff of Dead, the Staff of Light, Toxic Staff of the Dead, and Zareel Staff. All of those now uh, auto-cast Ancients. The bank and pickup option on the Goblin Banker has been flipped. This is something you could already do with the menu entry swapper, but now you don't have to. Also gave him like, a gold shirt. Uh, no real reason, just kind of was an option, so I figured, you know what, let's make him fancier than... like if. I kind of do plan to add Dorgish Khan City at some point, and there would be bankers, so I mean, making him stand out a little more, you know, it's nice. I also made him a little bit bigger, too. Legendary companions are meant to be uh, bigger than normal pets, so he was also made a little bit bigger. Uh, how did I not remember that I switched the options? <laughs> That's what the whole point of this was about. Same with the Skeleton Warlord, made him a little bit bigger as well. I mean, he's almost the same size as a dude. And then his options were switched. The amount of darts you can get from the Icy Black Demon has been improved, and then also the drop rate on the Dragon Claws has been improved as well. The Dragon Claw drop rate was meant to be about 1 to 5,000, but I ended up adding more things and adjusting things, and it, it turned into like 1 in 8,000, so that wasn't really intentional. I kind of lowered it again. Now I can imagine we probably will see somebody get, get them. Good luck. Um, and then the darts, I added more quantities. And then there also are, are, I don't remember what the drop rates were before, but I'm pretty sure they're all improved. And then now it's a minimum 100, 100. Um, it's just kind of like, I, I did a, a good chunk of them myself, and I think I only got the drops a handful of times. It's not meant to be like a main source of them or anything, but I mean, you know, it's one of the better non, you know, not good drops, so, shoot. Uh, and then for this, uh, for this entire week, not just the weekend, because obviously the weekend is gone, I uploaded the, you know, the, the update came out on a Monday. Uh, for this entire week, double group loot chests from the massive undead cow boss. So my hope is that we can maybe convince some people to go there. If you, it's so basically, if you did get a, gr a group loot chest loot, it is now doubled, so you'd get two. Um, I'm gonna try to host some mass this weekend, uh, or I guess this week, right? Because it would end Friday theoretically. Uh, I don't know. Definitely stay tuned uh, for the Discord announcements or whatever. I will have. I definitely want to do some masses. We got. We got to give the dead cow boss. Uh, some more testing just to see if it's like at a good enough point where we can start really focusing on balancing it and making sure the loots are rewarding. Uh, if you didn't remember in the, the la in one of the last updates, I don't think it was the last one, uh, Ictharin Scepter was added and that is a tier 80 magic weapon. It is kind of like a trident so it is it is essentially the best uh, magic weapon in game at the moment and not a single person has it or is really even trying to because it's only obtainable for, it's only obtainable for group loot chests. Uh, so then on the other changes, uh, Chaos Limits will, re -now, will, re -now spawn, will now respawn faster. I believe it was 150 ticks, now it's 15. I think it's 15. I don't It's faster. Speed. Speed's the name of the game. And then uh, the the message alerting you that you got an ancient effigy should now be more noticeable. Uh, it's kind of, I, don't, I can't really show you. Whenever you log in and it tells you you get uh, your... your uh, adventure points for logging in. If you didn't know, you get daily adventure points for logging in, and it's based on your donator rank. 
for example, my my normal account JMO has a thousand dollars donated, and uh, you get a thousand points every day. So I mean, it's a really crazy way to farm uh, adventure points. By all you have to do is just log in once a day. Uh, if you it's based on your donator, so if you're a lower donator, you'd get lower amounts. But even as like a normal player, you get I believe ten a day. Maybe it's less. Maybe it's more. I don't remember, but you do get points. Uh, voting was added. Use a poll booth. And there's, at the moment, only these options. Once, I, Like I said, once I add more vote sites, it'll be a lot easier to obtain things. My goal is to have at least five so that you can vote all five times. And so, like, you're basically guaranteed to get an XP scroll if that's what you wanted. Uh, mystery box, ten bucks, or ten, you know. And then I also, I do want to create, like, a vote-specific reward. Or, um, I don't know, maybe make it so that you can use the vote tickets to redeem something themselves. And then also, I don't know, maybe I don't want to do that, but... At the moment, it's all pretty simple, so I mean, if you wanted to save your tickets for something that could come out in the future, or if you have any suggestions yourself, I would be happy to hear them. Um, but as far as this, I just kind of kept it real simple, and uh, it's. I, I hope you got it. I hope you got it extinct. <laughs> uh, then, um, just the last change, like I said, this is a pretty small update. Uh, just magic roots added here. I can't remember what potion they're for, but, you know, they're there now. Uh, so that is essentially it for the update section. Next thing I want to talk about is sort of the kind of lore we're building to and the future updates. So uh, I guess I'll first I'll explain what the what the problem is and how we're seeing you know what our solution for it is. So the problem that we kind of come through is the home location is just not working. It's too big. Ninety nine percent of the players that are ever going to play the server have never even touched Prif. Prif is essentially in-game content on old school, and most people either don't play old school or have not gotten that far. There will be a handful of people that have. I myself have only gotten to Prif on uh, leagues, on the Trailblazer leagues. My my Ironman could do it if I cared enough to play old school to to do it. But the point is, like, it's you know a lot of players haven't unlocked it, so it's kind of frustrating for new players. Um, Cole Cole and Ne North East, the area we're at, is not very obvious. We don't have a way i i don't know how to edit like map icons so i mean it would be a lot better if i could have icons here but it just it's not you know it, it's not working basically it, it looks nice it's you know it, it does look nice and I, I i do like it but i think most people myself included just use the donator zone anyways because when you're when you're thinking of a home location you don't really want it to look nice you just want convenience that's kind of the, the logic of why home locations were created is you'd have one stop shop for everything and uh it, we tried kind of making it better i feel like we did make it better but only if you played the server and were like aware of the changes as a new player coming into it it's just too tough so kind of uh it kind of worked out with our lore anyways <coughs> i am not going to remember to edit that out so uh anyway so the lore I, I had anyways this was before that you know kind of when i was rough giving a rough idea for the server i didn't plan to remove the home location i've just kind of decided to attach that to the lore now but basically the reason why perfidus is even the home location and why elves are like more open than they, they're supposed to be in you know original lore is elves were you know searching around the snow place and they found a dark crystal or, or a dark portal they, they didn't know exactly what it was and they just kind of messed with it and experimented on it and for you know a couple years or so nothing really interesting happened they you know made some equipment with it and they noticed it was powerful but they didn't notice any negative side effects and then they started noticing massive negative side effects like rifts opening up and spawning demons and stuff like that and um one of their sages got a glimpse into the future and saw that a dark force was coming they basically summoned a portal to you know a dark world which is going to bring you know i assume I assume Zeros, Zeros makes the most sense. Zeros and Saren kind of have like this, like, I don't know, dark and light thing. So it just makes the most sense to make Zeros the enemy. Anyway, so Zer Zeros is coming and the Dark Elves, or not the Dark Elves, Prif, Saren have kind of realized that they've left the entire world, you know, doomed. Because it's not just the snow area that, they, that they're researching. It's rifts are opening up all over and, and they've, you know, been able to confirm that it's their fault. So... Without really admitting it's their fault, they're kind of like trying to get the world prepared. Uh, it's kind of noticeable if you go to Edgeville. So if you go to Edgeville, like there's some guards here that they're kind of being meant to like watch the, the the areas where they suspect dark forces could come. Also, you have, I mean, that's not really, I don't think that's supposed to be there. That's just somebody caught it and this is where it teleported to. I actually need to go get that on my main account. I have, I have yet to catch a crystal limp thing. I need to go get that little sucker. Where did it even go? I'll come back for it. 
So anyways, like, the logic is that they're trying to prepare the rest of the world for an impending doom coming. And what's going, what you're going to happen uh, over the next course of events. So on September 1st, it's going to be our next event. We're actually going to ha- It's going to be a very small event compared to the last two events. It's going to be like a, like a one-week, very small. If you're there, you get it. You get to do it. If not, you kind of miss it kind of event. But basically, another god that I've kind of established. I've established it on, on God Wars 2. Or not God Wars 2. Revival 1. But um, she'll also be a god on here is Sierra, which is based on my dog. She's essentially the goddess of creation, the goddess of the sun, the goddess... Not the goddess of light, because that's Saren's thing, but the goddess of the sun and creation is more of of, of what I'm calling her. She is the end all, the the omega, right? So her birthday is on September 1st, and that's going to be like a day that like anybody who worships her in the game is going to, you know, massively celebrate. So... That's going to be sort of your first glimpse at the the Saren related, or not Saren related, I'm messing up all my words, the Sierra related gods. And then uh, in October, you're going to get a glimpse at sort of Zeros. So it's not going to be Zeros himself, obviously, and I'm not going to do Echthenakos. We saw Echthenakos represent Zeros before. It's going to be an entirely new person representing Zeros. You're going to get a glimpse at him in the October Halloween event. So then after seeing him in the October event, so in October, you will get to see the first Zero boss, but you will actually get kind of a sneak peek before then. So on the 19th, which is going to be next update this Friday, there's going to be an additional little mini thingy added to the event. It's essentially a boss. We kind of did the same thing with the first event, and we're going to do it again, so there will be a little mini boss. Now, this is not going to be the uh, the uh, the God Wars 2 boss, but it's going to be the, a minion of the God Wars 2 boss, and this god is also going to be one I just created for the sake of... Uh, lore, right? So, there's not really many snow bosses or snow gods or ice-related gods, so I just decided to make my own, and you're going to get the first glimpse at that in this next upcoming week on Friday. You're not going to be able to fight him, but you'll, you'll at least be able to see him, and you'll be able to fight one of his minions and then get, you know, a drop through that, but you'll see him eventually with God Wars 2, so you already know there's four God Wars 2 bosses announced. You have Saren, Zaros, uh, Sierra, and then you'll have the ice boss, which uh, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if I want to name the the god like or the religion based off of the god, or if I want to name it something else and then have him, you know, the leader. I'm undecided on that yet. That's why I haven't announced the names yet. But you'll you'll see them very soon. And then I've actually decided that God Wars Two is going to have six bosses. So there's going to be two more bosses that are that, that are not going to be announced, not going to be released yet. And I'm undecided if I'm going to use... Uh, I'm probably going to use existing bosses. So if you have a particular favorite boss that you want to see, by all means, it'd be cool to suggest. And I'll, you know, I'll dig around with ideas and see what makes sense for the lore. So anyways, uh, back to the point of why, right? So the goal is to sort of kind of establish uh, the basic lore of God Wars 2. And then with that, I want to redo the home location, make it a lot simpler. We pretty much decided we're just going to use the Grand Exchange... That's going to be like a mini camp where the elves have set up. That's going to be the lore reason behind it. But it'll just be a nice flat area where we can put everything we want exactly where we want it. Nice and easy. Like, it'll be very simple. So, that should be good. And then, uh, as well as that, we're also going to redo... I'm going to redo the training uh, the training area. The training area was just kind of uh, thrown together very, very last minute before the server was even released. I want to make it a better, and I kind of want to make it so, like, it's actually, like, fun and do it. Like, I want to make a, you know, um, the idea I had was the Witch's Experiment boss, how you, like, you kill one and then it spawns another one. I was thinking of, like, making it so that, like, whenever you're killing the training monsters, you'd, you'd get training points and you'd be able to buy, like, the boss token teleports and kill the boss. You know, I wanted to make it, like, a, a full-blown minigame that people would basically almost always start their, their revival career off there. So those are two things I want to do to really improve the early game is, you know, change the home location for the new players and then change uh, the, tr- the the combat zone, uh, the training zone to be really, really nice and, you know, really worth doing. I also want it to be a nice cash, you know, way to get cash. So if people are like, how do I make cash? You know, you don't have to, you don't have to answer that. It's, you know, it's already an easy answer. Go there, go to train, make cash. You'll be good to go. You'll be able to, you know, start up an account. And then on the same vein, um, we're kind of missing in-game content. We you know we're missing things like Theater of Blood, uh, Fasani's Nightmare, Crystal Gauntlet. We're still missing that. I mean, there's, and there's tons and tons of other things we're missing. And by the time we get to this point, we'll probably be missing even more things. But um, I think God Wars Two is is going to be a, a nice. It's going to be essentially in-game past Theater of Blood and past Fasani's Nightmare. So I think it should be really nice and it should keep people you know really interested. 
Um, hopefully you guys can make it there, but uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions about any of the things I mentioned, I'd be happy to hear. I'm happy to take all feedback. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.